Number one signature piece of adjuster gear is the good old fashioned uh, 40 foot Fat Max. Okay, this is once they came out with these, I don't know if they had them like when I first started because I found them a couple of years in, but it has just a five extra feet off of a 35 footer that I found that I was always needing just a few more feet than 35 feet, 40 feet does much better, right? Um, there's a gazillion different ways. And again, this is entirely up to you. I bought one of these in on my very first storm on uh, in Chicago and <clears throat> I still have it. This is it right here. It's, it, I didn't put any oil on it. I didn't do a single thing to it other than just use it. It's really tight with the tape measure at first, but it, it'll stretch out and then it just stays in there. No problem, right? Look that on your belt. Um, there's a lot of different ways to carry stuff. Bully bag, I'm really a big fan of. I'll talk about one thing I don't like about the bully bag. It's not what you think um, in a second, but tape measure, right? I like the 40 footer, order them from Amazon or um, Home Depot.com or whatever. These, I think that any 40 foot, these just seem to be the ones that I always got. Um, I did try other brands and this it's a tape measure, right? Um, some of them have a little bit better situation going on the end, but they're mostly, I think they're mostly made by the same Chinese company and then just put, they just put different names on them. Buy at least two of these for yourself. There is only one company that provides E&O and general liability insurance solely to the insurance industry, and that's Kaplik. They even have drone and cyber coverages. Download the free guide all about the different kinds of insurance that you as the adjuster should carry at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. The thing that happens with tape measures is that, especially in the morning, is that you run it out across the yard to get a fence or the side of the deck or the elevation, right? And it's you, it lays right down or you hook it on the, the corner and then you can go down to the other end and you get almost there and it falls off and it lands right in wet grass, right? And the second this thing gets wet, it'll instantly start to rust. And then the other thing that happens, which is, oh, we'll make you so mad, but there's not much you can do about it unless you just try to never do this. I would always, I like to run my tape across the ground when it was dry because you could just like stick it on a corner over there and then just like zip it out wherever you need it to go. Roofers, homeowners, super helpful people will walk up and, oh, let me help you. And they step right on this and you can hear it go <laughs> crunch, right? These are, and then the third thing that happened to these is that you'd be standing up on a roof and you get that, that gutter and you do this and it comes back a little bit too hard and it spins in your hand and rolls right off the roof and lands in the middle of the driveway and shatters into 50,000 pieces and this whole tape thing and the spring goes fling and there's like a giant mess on the driveway, right? You wanna have spares of this. You wanna have spares of most stuff. Um, another option for getting long distances is a wheel. Um, these are accurate, right? Um, you can get it kind of to where it folds up a little bit, but this, I mean, are you walking around with this on your belt? The main thing that you're going to be measuring longer distances than a hundred feet is going to be like fence and I'm counting fence posts, right? I'm going to measure the distance between a couple of what seem to be representative fence posts. And then I'm going to be like one, two, three, four five, times 10. And then I'm writing that number down. I'm not doing this. This is, I mean, you, ha you can't carry it. Around. I mean, you can, the more stuff you have dangling off of you, the easier it is to get hung up on stuff, especially for climbing a roof, banging around, and you're not using it. Useful if you do a farm and ranch or like commercial claims or whatever, where you have to measure like, you know, the end of like a 400 foot long building, you know, where the guy probably just say it's 400 feet, right? So you don't even need this then. Better options are a laser for inside stuff, right? So you can just, I mean, you can get four measurements on there, right? You know, so they, you grab the measurements of the dimensions of the room. Let's see, can you see that? And then, and then you just write them down or you put them into whatever, right? Um, and we'll talk about exact meet mobile here in a little bit, but there's that. I bought that on Hurricane Ivan. And uh, I mean, this is the Hilti one. Um, they're kind of commercial grade. It's, it's got a crack on the screen, but that's about it. Um, it's lasted forever. 
kind of paid for itself the first day. I think it was like 350 bucks back then. Um, and that was Hurricane Ivan was 2003. So this was 2004. Same laser. The other option is a 100 foot pro tape that you can hook on something, right? And you can either hold this in your hand or you can, you can clip this off to your belt loop or whatever. But the cool thing about this is that it's retractable. So you're standing there doing this with, you know, one of these things, which I don't even know. I mean, it's just, oh, I, the, this is kind of easy to throw in your bag, but you gotta crank it up and it, you know, you might think, well, what's the big deal? I mean, it's, you know, why would you want to like have a retractable thing versus that, which is, this is, these are $35 by the way. Um, this is heavier. Uh, I'll just crank. Yeah. But that's, you know, that might take you 20 seconds, right? That's, that's, um, what is that? A third of a minute, right? Do that several times, that starts to add up to minutes, right? And then you combine that with other things that are, are take waste, you're wasting time with, and it starts to add up to hours, which starts to add up to you not making as much money as you could. Capiche? So I don't have my good clipboard here. Um, I looked all around for it. I like to buy those like $1.99, like sort of fiberboard ones, and then buy a mouse pad. Like it was just a super cheap mouse pad or like a drawer liner from Home Depot and some double-sided, or from Walmart or whatever, and some double-sided tape. Stick that thing on the back of this because that'll stick to a roof, right? You can just set it on the roof and just let it go. Um, you wanna be as hands-free as much as possible. So having some sort of a situation where you can clip this to your bag or your belt, probably not a bad idea. The kind of graph paper that you wanna get is the, this kind that has 10 squares per inch. It's got like a slightly darker like inch line, like grid, and then it has like a little finer, uh, smaller 10 squares per inch. I really, 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 really like this. This was made it really, really easy to, to draw a good diagram. Um, if you're asking why are we talking about drawing diagrams with iPads and modern technology, I'll explain that in a second. This is okay, um, but this other one's much preferable, right? You can get, if you, if you, this is all you can get your hands on, you can draw nice diagrams with this. Right. Um, we also have, and as being an, a, a plus subscriber, you've got access to this. Um, remind me and I'll give you the link to which video, but we have uh, scope tick sheets, right? This is a, a roofing one, right? Kind of help keep you, remind you of things that you, you probably can't see it because it's probably backwards, but um, this is to remind you of stuff so that you'll miss stuff, right? Um, whenever you put a, a pad, this little pro tip, right? Your pad of paper, right, like this. Don't stick it on your clipboard with the top side up here, right? This might seem like it would make sense, right? But it's the second the wind blows, you're getting like this thing going on, right? This, if you flip it, then when you're not doing anything with this and you're just like working on this one just one diagram or whatever. Doesn't matter what happens. You want to, I mean, this clipboard is not very good. So, doesn't matter what happens. Your paper is not going to go flapping everywhere, right? This, this is kind of a old school trick. So you're not going to have like this deal, which will drive you nuts. Being a, if you've been a adjust your TV, you know, follower for any length of time or since the beginning, you probably heard me talk about the 13 pocket uh, file folder for organizing your claims. 13 pocket file folder system thing. The beauty of this system is that everything I do every day lives right in here. I'll write the appointment day and time on my loss reports and then slide them in the respective day. I also drop things in there that must happen during the day. So if I have, if I have to get an oil change, grab a site or carpet sample for ITEL, make return calls, all that stuff's already in my schedule. It's just the next thing that I grab as I'm pulling pieces of paper out of it throughout the day. I recommend when you start off to do everything on paper have all of your claims in here, the, your first notice, your FNOLs or loss reports, whatever, with their dates and times, right? And every one of these po pockets is a day. So all of Monday's appointments go in order in Monday, then Tuesdays and so on and so forth. If you got a paper day, you slide that into Thursday. If you're going to get your oil changed on Sunday, you slide that in, 10 a.m. oil change, right? You just, your entire schedule is right here. 
This doesn't require any batteries, doesn't require Wi-Fi, cell service, nothing. But as long as you have it with you, um, it's got a, it's got your entire life in it, right? And it's compact. You don't need a big plastic box with a handle on it. You just need this. And the beauty of this is that you can take any computer bag and just drop this right in. Stick this in here, right? And then you, you pull up all of today's things. You set them up straight. So that all you have to do is it's just sitting down on the floor of the truck or on your passenger seat. You look over and you're like, okay, 930, I got this guy. Grab that sheet off, put it on your clipboard, drive to that guy's house, right? Super simple, super straightforward. Um, these days, I'm running with this Go Ruck thing. Um, you know, when you get in and out of the truck, computer's in there, your whole schedule's in there. When you go, you know, back and forth to your hotel, away you go, right? You're not carrying a whole bunch of stuff in your hands. Like, you'll see guys with, I mean, file cabinets, and you just don't, you just don't need that, right? So the question might be, well, what are you even talking about, man? I mean, why would I need paper in the 21st century? Don't we have iPads and things like that? Yeah, you do. And I strongly recommend that you use an iPad, right? Your iPad's going to get them here as well. Um, if you're doing um, full claims uh, or if you're if you're doing photo scope and write like you're out in the field and you're writing stuff i definitely would try to get on board with this as, as early as possible but to to still to run your schedule i'm going to recommend that you start with the foundational paper system that i've got um, there's probably a few videos in, in plus for this fast track um, we're definitely teaching it uh, soup to nuts that whole system because that gives you an understanding of the kind of the flow of how your schedule should work, what you can you can reasonably do and what you can't do. And it's not you're not gonna have the added problem of like having the batteries die on it, not having Wi-Fi, I can't access this because all the cell phone towers are down because a category five hurricane hit and blew everything to pieces, right? The paper doesn't care. The paper is, is right there, you pull it out, you can go to your next one, no problem. Right. When you've got that down and you've got that like grooved into your brain, how to move through a city move through your claims, move through your schedule, um, then you can do whatever you want to, right? You can say, all right, well, Matt's, Matt got me on the board, right? We got some we got some points. I got through a storm, maybe two, and it worked pretty well for me. But for the, the companies that I work for, um, they have some requirements. And, you know, I kind of want to do a digital thing. And I got my phone and it's, you know, I've got like a satellite, a Starlink on the top of my truck, or whatever it is, right? Um, and I'm going to do it my own way. Great. That's great. We got you into the game right? It gets you a foundation to understand how to do your schedule, um, how to run everything, and now you can take it from there and do whatever you want to do. So I'm never going to be like, you know, if you're five years into your career and you're not using paper stuff, I'm not going to, you're not going to hear anything from me. If it would do what works for you. But if you're brand new and you don't know what to do, this is the point. If you're brand new, you don't know what to do, do the paper system and you'll never, it, it will, it will save your rear end multiple times because it's just right there. You don't have to like go flip through apps and oops, when I was filling out the app, you know, the creating the event in Google calendar, I put it on the wrong day, whatever. You're not going to do that with this. The chances for error are much, much reduced. It's a lot simpler and it's, I'm going to call it foolproof. Unless you're a complete and total fool, it's still going to work for you. I was a total fool and it worked for me. We'll put it that way. But Again, you know, do what you got to do, do what you want. Um, we just super duper quick, and this video is not about this, but I wanted to let you know if you are interested in fast track to deployment. So if you go to adjustertv.com slash certify, you can jump on the wait list and hop in there. And this, now it's a pretty good time to do it um, because the firms are all like, they're deploying people to barrel. You may or may not get onto barrel um, right now, um, but a lot of people are going to be. And when the next storm hits, those people are all tied up on barrel, so they're going to be looking for more people, right? And it may be that there's still more adjusters, experienced adjusters that can backfill with that, but chances are um, there's going to be a lot, of, lot more opportunities for new people, especially after the, after this storm. So it's a good time to get this process down, get your exact May level two, which we'll talk about um, in a minute, um, so on and so forth, right? So adjustertv.com slash certify for more information about that. So the one last thing I'll say about this, I love Bully Bag so much. I think this is um, this this was a little bit after my time, but this paddle thing, 
and you just stick it into your belt, right? And it's just, when you jump out of the truck, this thing zips close. I'll show you. Right, so this thing zips close. Yep, you jump into the truck after looking at the house, make sure this is closed and just toss that down the floorboards of the passenger seat or in the back seat or whatever, right? And it's not gonna, your stuff isn't gonna fall out. If you're up on a roof and you gotta like grab onto stuff, you're not losing your stuff, right? One thing I, I'm not so keen on, I guess, is that um, if you put chalk in here, chalk gets on everything, right? So if you have chalk in your bag and then you've got your gloves and you've got other tools and stuff in there like hammer or whatever, everything is going to be covered in chalk dust. The way I did it um, a lot of years, most years, was I used that little holster, leather holster for my tape measure. I had another one for my camera right and i had that on my those two things on my belt right here Let's zoom that back a little bit right so you can see better um so i had my tape measure here my camera there because those were like right hand things right so i can just grab those really easily and then i went to rei and picked up a chalk bag right and it has like a little thin piece of webbing that just run around your waist and it, there's a little bag about this big um with kind of like a it sort of like closes down on itself and i filled that with chalk and i put tools in there that i was like i didn't care if they got covered in chalk dust like a uh, shingle gauge and my pitch gauge right so those things lived in those are the main things that i carry one thing i'll tell you that you absolutely have to carry is going to be gloves right go to Ace, Home Depot, Walmart, whatever, and just get yourself some like really cheap, like mechanics gloves. You do not, do not get like heavy duty leather or anything like that because it's going to be hot. You want something that breathes and that when you, these are bully bag gloves that, that he had made. Um, and these are pretty awesome. I don't know how much they are, but if you go to bullybag.com, you can get the bully bag G2. And these gloves and a bunch of his like, tons of tools on there um, that you can use. So these things are going to be great for you for getting around on hot roofs, just like grabbing things on the roof to like balance yourself or to like grab a whatever it is, right? You can reach over and grab the, the top back side of a bridge cap or in a valley, right? And pull yourself up. Um, if you slip and you have to put your hands down, you're not going to burn the crap out of yourself. And you're not also not going to lose all the skin on your palms, so you'll be able to stop yourself from going off the roof. These are absolutely critical. I probably would cut off uh, the first finger, maybe the first two fingers, so that I could feel for hail damage, right? Obviously, on a hurricane, you're not going to be doing or hail damage, uh, but you will be carrying chalk, so you need to get yourself sidewalk chalk or railroad chalk um, for marking up wind damage, um, so on and so forth.